I uh, left my phone on the truck, so I had to go get it. But I was going to make some no-bake cookies. So I will show you my recipe and how I do it. Oh my goodness, it got dark. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> so let me uh, get my stand and get over there. I already made one batch. And I was like, how come I never remember to YouTube until after I'm done or already started? Well, I'm starting a new batch, but I already did one. But anyway, I'll get over there and show you how it's done. Okay, first thing we're going to do is one cup, I mean one half cup of margarine or butter. I prefer butter, real butter, preferably. Um, we're going to put one cup of butter in here. Oh, I keep saying a cup. It's half a cup, I'm sorry. And a half a cup of milk. And I like to use the canned milk. So, get my half measuring cup. And... Half a cup of canned milk, and then two cups of sugar, just regular plain all white sugar. We got one and two, and then it's uh, three tablespoons, I believe, of cocoa. And I'm just using the Nestle Toll House Cocoa. Three-ish tablespoons. Like so. And then I'm going to light my burner. And what I do is uh, wait for that to come to a boil. And uh, I will let it boil eh, on a hard boil for two to three minutes. So let me go ahead and let this heat up and start boiling. And then I'll show you what's next. Okay, it is a boiling. Let's see if I can show that to you. Um, hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to set my timer for two minutes. And turn my burner down just a little bit here and let that continue to boil, hard boiling, for two minutes. And then uh, we will turn the burner off and then we will go to our next step. And uh, I almost got ahead of myself. I told you I made another batch. Well, I had them over here on my table and I was like, oh crud, where am I supposed to put these? So, yeah, I took them off and I got them over here under the rack and on the rack and then I have room to set the other ones as soon as that gets done hopefully that'll fall there but uh, if it smell if you start smelling it a little bit just turn your burner down just a little bit more and just uh, like I said two to three minutes and sometimes I make these and I do it the same exact way and they don't set up. Why? I guess it's because I live in Oklahoma and the humidity is so high or I guess it has to do with the weather. I don't know. But it, don't get discouraged. It's nothing you did more than likely if they don't set up. Because like I said, I've done it numerous times and they're really, really, really soft almost kind of like fudge. I mean, they're still edible, but they're really soft. And they are better if they set up. They have more of a kind of a sugary glaze type texture to them. Excuse me, that is our timer. So what we do next is turn off the burner. And then I have a half a cup of peanut butter here. I'm going to throw into our, well, not throw it because I don't want it to splash, but put into our hot mixture. And then you'll want to stir that until your peanut butter is dissolved. And you can use crunchy or um, <laughs> without the peanuts. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah, I've been up on pretty much with my granddaughter. I've been up and she got me tired. Anyway, put your peanut butter in there until it is dissolved. And then after your peanut butter is dissolved, you will want to use one teaspoon of vanilla 
and I happen to have oh belladonna vanilla don't matter what kind of vanilla I don't guess but you just take one teaspoon add it to your mixture just drop it in there give it a quick stir and then you will take three cups of instant quick oats and you will put those in there and that's close enough to three cups and I'm just going to use it because my container is empty so and then you put that in there and you mix that Take two his phone number. And. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Okay. Just stir it up and it'll get a little bit stiff, not too bad. But if you wait too long, it'll get really stiff. And then I'm going to try to move the camera over there so y'all can see me putting them on the table here. There we go. Now, as long as we don't have no sudden movement, hopefully my camera won't fall. I am getting my wooden spoon out of there. And then what you do is you just, depending on what size you want, you just take it off the spoon and put it on your paper and then let them set up. And these happen to be for my grandson and my son. Every time I see my grandson, he's like, Nana, did you make me any cookies? Well, I took his sister home a little while ago, the one I said stayed with me, and he's like, I told him, I said, I started to make you cookies, and I didn't have no peanut butter. He's like, oh, really? He was so disappointed. So I had to run to the store, get peanut butter, and come back, and now I'm doing my double batch, filling my request. But anyway, that's how I do my no-bake cookies. They're fast, simple, grandkids and kids all love them. So uh, if you have a different variation, Leave me a comment and tell me how you do it. And I thought about trying some, uh, of course my husband's not crazy about coconut, but I thought about trying some coconut in them sometime just to see how it turns out. But anyway, like I said, if you all uh, try something different or you do it a different way, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And y'all have a great day and I will catch you next time. God bless you.